Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening. Enjoy. Enjoy. No problem. There's a lot going on. So you're not going to be able to use the flash. Okay, you ready? <laughs> from the left hand side. Nostalgia, the memories of just being back in Cape Town. It's it's been amazing, and you guys have been so good to us and so kind and friendly. So thank you so much for that. I um I just want to say thank you to every one of you for buying tickets. Thank you for supporting us for so long. Thank you for supporting my husband's dream. I just yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna cry tonight. <laughs> I'm already losing my voice. You see, this is what Cape Town does. It makes me lose my voice because I just want to shout. Um, but yeah, Alfred's family is here. The entire family is here. My family is here. My brothers are here. Um, my very handsome brother-in-law is also here. <laughs> are you ready? Are you sure? My husband, Alfred Adrian. Hello! Hey! Gedraaiele! Kijk hier! Here is Jayo Giso. Hello, Michel Splein. Oh, that's crazy, eh? Oh, the people are standing by the door, so please, don't let the aunties by the door. Come in, come in. Don't worry, I'm not going to tease you, ma'am. It's just nice to see people, man. Real people, right here. Yeah? Oh, here are you who's up my car for Nant. Oh, we should have done this. They in the middle for herd immunity. Remember herd immunity? I was so hot full for lockdown. I get some rapal galeg here in the middle, eh? <laughs> First off, let me just go. I just want to start by saying, if you don't understand Afrikaans, just go, yeah? <laughs> Is there any of you? Oh, it's going to be a very cock night for you, eh? No man, it's just lovely. It's just real people. It's lovely that you hear it. On this by my car, lekker man. I was tired man. I was duck. Listen, lockdown. It was lekker in the beginning, eh? It was lovely. It felt like a twenty-one day holiday, ne? Hmm, lekker man. You holiday. We thought it was going to be over quick. Hmm. Then it went on and on, and it's not natural. I love my wife. She's a beautiful person. But the husband and the wife mustn't be together. Like that man the whole time. Huh? I've been lying to her about who I am for years. There's no escaping. It's like a traffic following you from here to Stellenbosch. They're gonna find something. Because as men, you all know, we men are sitting here, husbands are here. We didn't know where to turn because we're gross, we're disgusting. Some of us bite our own toenails. <laughs> don't act like you don't do it. You know what I mean? We don't. Say can yeah, say 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 she yelled it out. And you know, you know my wife, ne? You know when you. Fro begin a gat pora. Have you ever seen your wife just looking out the window, cup of tea? 
Akar naksa na bayi tni. So I start singing a hymn. Tiara asli, permai. She's thinking about you. Say prad mani yara. Jai khan khan, stamper you tight. Yeah. Di dengar tuan semak, and I let myself go, man. You know. Now you know why the radio was pretty down. The road already with that. But in lockdown, you you know you've let yourself go when you don't care about your weight anymore. When you go into a shop, you go give me a six pack of Terry Stumping. Says, yeah, says I can believe you're trying to come. It's terrible. The beginning was, ma'am, let me tell you, the beginning was lovely. We made floor bed, floor for Christmas. Yeah, matrasa. We were watching Netflix. Let it go, man. My my son Ethan. Ooh, I must apologize for him because he watched. We watched so much Peppa Pig. He can't do no accent, no. Say mas when he came flats. Say pas when Anki. He's from London. Yes. Exactly. Look at you, fucking bully, bully school. It was rough, guys. No, it was rough. The beginning, and then you know what happened? We started. The thing is, with lockdown, ne? In the beginning, it was fun. It was liquor. We sitting, and then you know, must now our wife, man. First, I just want to say I love all the we married women. Because married women are seventy percent, eh, of my my ticket buying audience. Getrouwd of vrouwens. Hulle is hier so. This bra don't know who the fuck I am. Hier is hier. Hey, wie het hier? Hy is ook net hier hoe heerlijk het betaal dat ek maar gaan. Hy weet wat ek van... So just... So just... Sorry, Uncle Maas. Nou maar so, nou. You know how it is, man. But you know married women. Married women, my friend. You know. It can lekker. When you're having too much fun, they switch the happiness off day three. I knew where it was going too well. When she walked out the door, lockdown level five, on scanner and scanny, fully dressed. Like she's going to the office to be at the cool. That's for bay. No, we can't lie like this. Then I knew, nah. Let's spring cleaning next now. Now you can fix this garage. It's been three years. It's terrible. She put me on a diet. I'm the only one. We're all supposed to be eating healthy, but I'm the only one on this diet, eh? Hulle hier chocolates, ha? Samusas, ha? My egg is up a green salad. Because I must now love, I must be more healthy. I've got a child now. But she's buying that, you know that chocolates, clicks, three for the price of two. You know that? Three fruit and nut, why? Why all three fruit and nut? She says it's because I don't like raisins. To discourage me, I say, you get too liver sick for chocolate, Jenny. And she's thin, man. You know thin people. They have two blocks, you know. <laughs> say go to two blocks. Oh, delicious, Han Le. Are you gonna leave that now? Yeah, the whole night. Because chocolate to me, chocolate to me is most, it's like there's a rat in the house. I'm going to go to the house. I can't sleep when I don't know. No, I can't sleep. No, he makes me unrustig, man. It's like a cock and rotten in the house. I'm going to go, man. I'm going to go. You know what I'm talking about. Now that chocolate man, a person, man. I was, they go to bed like 7.30. I go to bed 11, 12, 1. I was now a late person, man, a comedian. Now I'm sitting there, and you know, we got a bit too comfortable. That's what got me here with the diet was, I was in the same place on T-shirt and only for three days, and I knew. <laughs> you don't act like you didn't have an old underpants on. And I was watching, you know when you're watching? I was watching John Wick, half past 11. You know, it was most grump action, that man, it was action. A person's blood sugar drops, man. I was starting to hear voices. They're like, going at Alfred. It's me. The fruit and nut. 
Jeg kan se, at jeg går rigtig og rups dem. Så jeg må sige, you go, you just to check, man. Just to, you know, to have blokis, you know. So I went, just to, but here, I can net a break. And I just did this, to wear a color. Blackout. Blackout, chocolate and half. Pah, gone, gone. Guys, my body absorbed that chocolate, man. It was like when you go to church. I'm from the congregational church, by the way. Because a care con so there we must grow up with monas, man. You don't fruit juice, brochi juice, donkey, hanons and. But every now and then a friend will invite you to their church, but they don't warn you. Look here, the vara Jacobi. Oh, we man. Olivia Brown, if you know her well. Now you're there, they're just gonna like, you just go, because you know, you think it's moan, and say, oh, you're gonna get warm off, young. They say, no, give me no, give me a heilige geest. Woo, it was so, it was like that, you know what I mean? It was like, it was like that, man. Then, then I woke up, you know the next, now the problem is now, it's level five, you can't go anywhere. Now you can't throw the packet just in the bin. A wife is like Columbo with CSI. I. She's gonna find out, so I have to. Have you ever taken a drive to throw a packet away? <laughs> yeah, fuck, I got to be blocked right now. It was rough. And then I woke up, you know when you wake up, nah? you wake up the next day, you know, every married man knows. A married woman won't let you sleep if she's upset with you. <laughs> Ooh, this club are that tingling, tingling, pa, pa, poof. Ask your father, is he gonna sleep a whole day? It's half past six in the morning. Hey. Vroeg, man. The child comes into the room. Father, are thou going to slumber? I say, no, I'm not. Then I can bully that light. Now it was rough, guys. People started losing it. We're not supposed to be in captivity like that, away from each other. It's not, it made us go. We started seeing the country unravel, eh? Did you see? People started doing, remember that auntie? Did you see that clip on ETV? Where the auntie, the minister was talking and, I don't know, minister of what? And she, in the middle of the conversation, to let's say, Ian man. Did you see that thing? I said, the auntie had to poop on the TV. Then she comes out, she says, no, that was sabotage. <laughs> it was a digital fart. I say, auntie, you lying. You lying, we don't have that kind of technology on the phone. Just tell him, it was cool, it not. <laughs> People started going, doing strange things. Then the, it, as if it wasn't enough. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, riots. The riots. South Africans are the only people. Your family was calling you worried from Australia, eh? Do you need asylum? <laughs> South Africans are the only people. We watch riots like it's entertainment. Here in Italy, come Kegi. The anti the deep freezer up on rug. Hey! On some men's are sterk in the lobby, you know? Sterk. Here in the sterk, man. Full of deep freezer. You could see, ne, some of those people, you're like, no, man, these bras, they work there. This bra, you know he works there. Who steals a forklift? He was too confident with a forklift. That bra knew where the key was, everything. Because every man in here, we want to ride a forklift. You know, we want to. But we don't know he can so can. Not that out here. Beep, 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 beep. Bring it quiet. You know what I mean? He drove that thing on the highway home. He news cameras us. Where are you gonna park the thing behind the house? Hey man, the one that worked on my nerves the most, man, was that bra with the the TV. Oh, I didn't get on my work, man. I was, you know, while watching the news, I can't focus on what the bra is saying. There's always exit dry home. I'm a colored guy. I'm a, I would have gotten that thing in there. Colored men have been loading hedgebacks for years. 
I, have a, I had a test when I was a younger man. I put 14 kinders in the test. 14. When I get to the club, I open the doors and had pumps what flick. I was upset with him. I'm like, also, why are you buying this? Why? You had a choice, you stole a Sinotec. Why? Do you have low self-esteem, Cooper? As and Samsung and Alza, these will have Sinotec in the year. <laughs> but you could see ne, the country when we were watching. The country, you could feel the country watch and go, the cops are coming now. <laughs> hey, my police are coming. Oh. No, 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 don't worry. Then one police officer come, then he disappear, shaman. Then no, no, the soldiers are coming. Then we started realizing, okay, we are on our own. And no one is coming here. Yeah. <laughs> then you could feel good people. You could feel the energy of the country. You could see on TV or so. Good people started to turn bad. <laughs> Even, you know what I mean? They started going, good people were watching and you could see, here's opportunities here. Then good people started also invo getting involved. Even me, I told Natalie, hey, the TV is the clean man. <laughs> Person can see so liquor here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, but you could see good people, like you can see when good people, they're dumb and they don't know how to steal. <laughs> they don't know how to steal, they steal some of here in front, you know what I mean? They don't want to be caught too deep in the mall. <laughs> they still steal the TV from steers here. <laughs> no Elke Woensdag, mommy is wacky Wednesday, yeah. <laughs> hey, betaal hy TV terug in installments for ice cream, no. It was a strange time, eh? I was, I'm telling you, we, I started spe seeing people unravel. Even in our complex, we got a little complex. Then you could see people start arguing for nonsense. Because we didn't know what it was that time. Everyone was nervous and confined. The dog people. They amongst us, yeah? Dog people and the anti-vaxxers, eh, Lizzie? You still rackle, no? Yo, the anti vaxxers are the worst. They, they went, woo! No, 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 they're going to track me with a 5G. They say, Auntie, they don't fuck all healthy. They don't want to track you. Lewis Dawes wants to track you. Hey. Want to know when you're bringing back the couch. That was how it was. The dog people, man. And you know dog people, guys. You know dog people. I'm. I, Natalie is a dog person. They started arguing. They went, oh no, surely we can walk our dogs. He said, Auntie Blay Bunner, that who's he bait again? Just stay in your house. Then I was like, could see it's unraveling. Because you see dog people, you know how you know dog people. Natalie is a dog person. Dog people give the dog a human name. Have you noticed? <laughs> now I'm not, I'm against animal cruelty, eh? I love animals, I'm just not, I'm more of a cactus person. <laughs> Two drippels water, gaan ons aan met ons leven. I met Natalie, Natalie says, oh no, no, this is my baby. <laughs> Your own name, Mia. I say, here my nuggies are chance to name us of Mia, yo. No, one day she comes home, she comes home, she buys the dog, fancy dog food, eh? No, fancy, we can Uber. Now, I didn't grow up like that. Our dogs all ate what we ate last night. Dog also died from everything we died from. One dog died from a heart attack. One lost his foot, diabetes. <laughs> eh? Ooh, you're a simple man, a mark a problem. So now, so now, she comes home. One day she comes home. Oh, beside herself. <laughs> I took Mia to the vet and said, oh. She needs a hip replacement. <laughs> hip replacement? You know my mom has done two months now, yep. Once back, no, no, for the paper from the hospital. We're still waiting. I can't almost give a dog a hip. She's, my granny's gonna say, I got my spook. She goes, no, no, don't worry. 
It's only 6,000. I say, 6,000 rand. I say, Yeramia was a good dog. I went to Builders Wells, I bought a shovel, 75 rand. When I came home, that dog was like, nah, my beard is all right, man. She could see it in my eyes. Dad, the young heart from my grave. He's going to bury me, this one. Every time she's sick, Natalie goes, oh, baby, I'm here. <laughs> she's strong now, eh? Strong. 13 years already. Never been to the vet yet. Yo. Dog people, man. Dog people. I have a friend, Shayman. She's a single girl. She's one of the last female friends I'm allowed to have, according to section 2.56 <laughs> of my marital contract. I can only see her when Natalie is in with me. Woo, but she loves a dog. Woo, she's a old man. You know, I mean? you know the type that it's too much, man. That, you know when you walk into the house, I'm all for love your animal, but in the bed, in the couch, Hey, everywhere, drink damp. <laughs> now she's got a, she's a dog person. So in lockdown, I was, I was like worried about her mental health because she's alone there, she's a girl. So I text her, I go, listen, are you okay? You must let us know if you're right. You know, she says, don't worry, Alfred, I've got Steven next to you. Hey! <laughs> Steven! I said to Natalie, yes, it's a man, it's a man. So I'm not, I don't worry about her. So level three comes. And when level three hit, ne, I tell, Natalie says, oh no, Carly invited us for dinner. Because Carly knows the rules. I can even my friend. I know she's a cock. Invited us for dinner, shame, let's go. So I go to the dinner. And so I think it was now you, me, Stephen, and Natalie. I still, you know, you take, I took a quality box of wine with. <laughs> over Meyer, over. Did you drink your pop? I make them lekker. So I, so I got her and she's extra man. She's like extra, you know, she plays with a dog. Wait, but first of all, I get there, she goes, oh, this is Steven to the door, to Dutch on. So she, she plays you, she's extra, sir. <laughs> Making salty crack, same time. <laughs> hey man, dog in. Mayonnaise, man. I had to think quickly because I'm invited for dinner. I can't say it's full. So I have to now make a plan to get out of this now. So I say, oh, you know, it turns out that I'm gluten intolerant. <laughs> but Natalie loves salty cracks. You can have mine, babe. <laughs> it's terrible, obvious. <laughs> we were there, and now I'm sitting, and you know, yeah, man, married women will lie to a single girl. Eh? You must stop with that thing <laughs> to make the person feel better. Tell them the truth. Natalie Lich is over here, bro. Oh, no, don't worry. It's only been three weeks. He's gonna call. Like, say, ga belly. <laughs> He's done with you. Now you know what box wine was does. I mark you still. <laughs> and then the box wine was starting to whisper to me, he says, you must help this girl. <laughs> because the dog is licking her, man. She and this dog is too close. It's not natural, that leggy. <laughs> this box wine says, you must help. <laughs> you know that quiet and then all of a sudden your volume just <laughs> goes up. Out of nowhere, I went, that's when you frame it on. <laughs> she, she hasn't invited me back. I don't know why, mom. I don't know why, ma'am. No, that's all. Lockdown, man. You learn about, you learn about your wife, eh? You learn about your partner, things you didn't know. Things like, Natalie believes everything in a rom-com, eh? Getrouwde vrouwen, jylle glo hy goed in, eh? Rom-coms! We watch him as now everything again. And there's lies, man. There's lichter even aangaan. Why do the men always die early? Why? 
The men always first to go up in Tintu. <laughs> we were watching here. Yeah, we were watching this one, nah, where I was like, the guy's disabled in the thing, and then he takes the girl around the world. You know, what's that thing? You saw that weird. Sis! Marken you pasalam drian tuan tak? Yeah. Hmm. Tiada semai air dari bahkan semua. Yo help. Terrible. I was watching. Natalie loves loves this stuff, man. So watching this thing. This guy. This guy takes the girl around the world, ma'am. Let me tell you something. No man in here in South Africa has ever said these words. Never come up. It's not realistic. This scooter. That's literary. This man on his deathbed goes, "When I die, I want you to find love again. Find love again with my life insurance money." He said, "I'm a car." I told you, you know, this is lies, this, eh? You wear black. You tell them I've ruined you for every man. Magiri can grow it. Find it. Exactly, you spoke. I told you, I will haunt her. I will haunt. I will put on the kettle every night. Click, 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 click. You'll have to explain to him what's that sound. No, it's my husband. He's back. He wants his liberty money. Terrible, terrible. No, I was the worst. Was like I noticed there's unrealistic standards of beauty in these things that men also suffer. You know what I mean? Tim, why do all the men shower sexy in those things? Have you noticed? <laughs> Rub the killings. They all hot, hot, hot. Then they stand in the shower. <sighs> Grab a towel out by the door. Say, Natalie, there wasn't even soap. Say, stay as a saint, sir. No, real man doesn't bath like that. Real man, we sit here. We, we, when we in there, don't come in. It's not sexy. We lock. We putting in a shift here. We, we need something hard. La munsaki on this. Soap must be strong. Life boy, Protex. Hot sir. <laughs> you see, that's the problem. If married women watch this stuff like they believe it, then what is the youth supposed to now believe? You've seen life; they haven't. You must be a better example. These guys are ripped. Let me tell you something. These men are ripped. That is why no good man, a quality man. We don't have time for 250 push-ups in the morning, eh? We too busy trying to provide for our families. We need a coke to get through the day. You, these women are looking for love in the wrong places. There's a good man there by the work. He loves you. You call him his work husband, but he hear me can't see man. He's just in the wrong container. If you're single, let me help you. If you're looking for a man, a good man, let me help you. Don't listen to married aunties. I'll lick. Find yourself a man with cholesterol, high blood pressure, and sugar diabetes, man. He's gonna die 58. Then you in his life insurance. It's a happy ending. You need the kind of man that comes home. He's eight hours, somebody dear. Give him two biscuits to wake him up. <laughs> you want sexy men? Say, hi, Marhat. He has no job. He's on his mother's vitality. <laughs> then when the child comes, then he can't support you. Then you shock now. You're a weird and he's yelled at and he jumps off his. Terrible. Anyway, let's start with the comedy now.
<laughs> the worst one, we had to watch, I had to watch all that. Ooh, Sonder. He's groot mens. I can't speak like this about this stuff. Fifty Shades, that thing. I had to watch all three of those things again. Sis! Now, I grew up conservatively, man. I get very uncomfortable when there's... I'm still, I'm a grown man, eh? But I, I feel like my mother's watching. When they will start kissing, I go, well, you want any? This is me and her there. She's watching like us, eating the popcorn, devouring. I'm like, here, yo. The man is much on the beer, That man does things to that woman. I don't use adults here. I can't. Don't, must respect. But auntie, have you seen? You mustn't watch. He's got a padded room. Ma'am, a padded room with a dungeon lock. Say stock stuff on the track with a. He's got everything's expensive. You can see there's whoops there, but it's sexy huta, you know. High budget, you can see it's expensive. What do you call a whopping? A rotang, a rotang. Okay. Rotang man. You know that, you see that thing. But he like wraps a silk around it, it's sexy then. He's got sexy cuffs. Ooh. Then he's got in the middle, then you go, what had he know? No mark. He's got this like a, you know in the Olympics they have a pummel horse. You know that thing that you have to sum me over that thing? <laughs> then he ties her up. He spun mama stock, Steve, man. <laughs> he's not enough, eh? He, does, he goes, he's got the pulley. He says, here, the man is most of a sight, no beers. <laughs> Where do you buy that stuff? Who do you call? Listen, I need a pulley, a pummel, or three whoops. <laughs> Tell him what the police are like, weird. And, and further, Nat, I tell Natalie, Natalie, the man murmurs differently. <laughs> she goes, no, 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 you don't understand, Schwen. It's just shh. She's opening him up to love. Like say, I think she's opening, he's opening her up to a mooring, that's all I see. Does her, does her brother know what's going on here? Hey, Slana, I throw young. Now at this point, every time he starts with these doors, I get, oh, I, oh, I watch that whole movie from the kitchen. <laughs> you want tea? Full <laughs> scum. <laughs> you see, the problem is, nah, there's a double standard. That's the problem. There's a double standard when it comes to these things. Because this man is a billionaire and sexy. He is a sexy bra. You can, even me, I could see. Yeah, young. I'm a straight man, but me and him in Survivor. <laughs> Three months, meet is meet. I can say, I can say, Borg is good of luck. Yes, sir. You see that uncle go near and he's a fair guy, Never buying tickets again. Six. You see, there's a double standard because he's a billionaire and sexy, sir. Can I mar? Now it's opening her up to love. Eh? <laughs> Natalie normally says, oh, no, it's abuse. He's against abuse, against women. I could but now it's opening up to love. <laughs> but when I ask her to tie her up with a swell cozy, <laughs> now, and all, I don't have the money for a whip net or nut for a duki, you know? Are you goodies? Stout a head? I told her, I said, you can't get any brands. I said, I 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 can't get any liquid tomorrow morning. <laughs> Refreshing and lemony. Yes. Hey. Double standards, man. Sis. Yes, sis, I'm sorry, ma'am. You're a great man, sis. No, I'm telling you, see, I'm farm, man. I'm a farm boy. I'll never. What you guys are seeing in those videos, ne? It's not me trying to be funny. It's just a farm boy going, you're a big one, Khadia. 
Because I come from like a farm to upbringing. You know what I mean? Where I come from, yo, the lights, this load shedding is not new to us. That's Donkaraso. <laughs> Have you ever been to Thornhill? It's dark. Plus, men are can't see any Donker. Have you seen? You can't see your hand in front of you. But farm people, you, you're uncomfortable. It's too dark. You've noticed that there's moonlight there in the distance. You hear, <laughs> your chummy goes, I'm like, Fazai, don't worry, it's Jerome. I say, huh? <laughs> How did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I'm farm man, I'm a farm boy. So what you're seeing is this, I'm just surprised. Natalie's from the city, yeah. They, she's seen fancy hooter. I, the other day, I ask questions. I go, <laughs> Natalie, why do the, I walked into Woolworths with her. I said, Natalie, kai giso? She says, what's wrong? I say, taller fears? <laughs> they've got, now they've got prickly pears. You see, city people don't understand. Dollar fears without a warning label. Different means of yeti on the hood at a yeti. I've never bought a dollar for you. You buy it in a bucket on the side of the road. You can't fast it for nighting. Constipation, sir. You mark a knob. I grew up on remedies. I'm farm. You, you know, we never went to the doctor. Eh? I grew up on remedies. Our doctor in Anki, we don't go at all. Our foot can fall off. We first go to the clinic. Our doctor is the only doctor that's got a side job as a plumber. Can he help in the shame? So we always, it's all about remedies. So my granny's remedy for us, he fussed. Because my cousin one day, he had eight. He'd really worry. I said, you're going to have problems. Mm -mm. You must, you know what the remedy is, eh? You must even be an eighty boom at spring. You got to jump and then land, but you must land. And stand on many house pipe <laughs> to release. Sometimes you have to jump twice, ma'am. So she see, I come from remedies, man. And when COVID hit us, it was remedies there by the house. And my mother, oh, parapus, blvalals. <laughs> For stair dripples, we drank it all, eh? As long as it was a bush, we boil him and drink it. <laughs> I come from a remedy background. Even even, even when, now, like even when I was like dating back in the day, now before Natalie, I always have to say that, <laughs> So when I was dating years ago, shame, and I used to date a girl, nice person, oh yeah, shame. Who <laughs> your mans, you know? No, you know how it is when you start dating, man, isn't it the beginning? The beginning, girls are still very, and a stiff, you know? It takes them time to unwind. Then you know when it's coming now, nah, dengha no leka, they start kicking off their shoes. In your house, we watch a movie, she kicked off her shoes, but she has pumps on, man. Here I fuchi said ras, man. I've never seen a fuchi ras like that on such a pretty person. I didn't know what to do. I was bewildered. I was like, oh, you're a very cheese girls, what come I couldn't believe it. You know when you have to watch the movie, you can smell that foot is staring at you. <laughs> but you can't now tell the person, listen, he's a varam lapi man. Just a hot cloth, just sort yourself out. You can't, it's over. You can't do that, it's rude. Can't. So then I called my granny, I was like, oh my man, here man. This girl fuchi man, I can't let this fuchi get between me and love. My granny says, I've got the answer, my boy. You know what you must do? You must soak her feet in her rooibos tea. I try to crack it, I would cheat. So now, how do you tell someone, no, you must soak your feet? You can't, this was over now. You can't, you can't tell a girl to soak her feet. So I must come with a way now, a style. So I made us two. When she walked into the car, Knidi Pani Rooibos. Looked like a spa day. She goes, what's happening in spa day? I made me Rooibos and us, I made her a bit stronger. I put in a little pine gel just to... 
Jy het nog nooit pijntjel gesien uit die bulk uit klimmie, jong. 45 minutes, hy voetje is terug. Ha! Shame, she's married now. She's married. Sy voete raas ook seker. You know what I mean? Soort, soek, soort. Soort, soek, soort, mense. Oh, man. Now I come, like I said, I come from Henke in the Eastern Cape. It was it's a lovely place to grow up. You know, I'm a farm boy. I actually, after I went to university, I, when I was in matric, um, I got a scholarship to UCT. Yeah, it's not just good looks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I filled in 43 bursary forms. I called myself Alfred Vujani. Adrian. It's amazing how many responses I got. <laughs> my parents, I wasn't the smart one in my family. Don't get me wrong. I, I got scholarships because of the volume. I, you know, my brother, he's the smart one. He's a clever Islam. I, I'm not, you know when you know you're the dumb one in the family. <laughs> Report card day. Report card day, you know. You know we used to get that white report? Or the green one? And when you fail, they make a red line. It's like you're in a menorah. Make that six or eight. Report card day, my mother, she's here. I feel her energy. But Sama used to rain there too. She used to, she used, my mother's a teacher for 42 years, and I's a teacher, you know teacher vibes, you know when they, the, the brill is he. So now on report card day, he's all A's, one B. Five A's, one B, eh? My, now the bra is excited to go home. You know what I mean? I'm like, no hey, bra, it's Friday, don't spoil the weekend. <laughs> Tell her we didn't get anything, Tell her we get nothing. Now, now he's, he goes, runs and shows my mother sitting by the table. He's first, then me. Five, eight, mm, eight, mm. Jason has opportunity. Huh? <laughs> he goes, he goes, my boy, we're very proud of you. But next semester, you can work on this one B. I'm going, hey, hey! Here, Andy, you got most no scruck, no. But there's PCDC here. You know when your mother has low expectations, you know what I mean? When you realize you're you nervous, but you realize you don't have to worry. Your mother's expectations are much lower for you. When I showed my mother a report, I'm nervous, she goes, Oh, you're my kind of My kind of Fernandia don't gammon in the ice. We used to eat like Christmas when I pass, yo. I told my brother, Jason, whistle. You must manage. You must manage. Watch this, Emma. I'm going to get a trifle lost. Yeah, I used to. Nah, I got a. I got a scholarship, and then when I got that scholarship, my parents were, my parents are good people. They support me even now in my, f I'm turning 40. So the thing is, is that they were good people, man. They, like 99% of us in this community, we look after our kids, right? The problem is that, you know, I was first generation to go to a university. We want to know how much this thing costs. So my parents had the study policy for 18 years, and when it matured, and it came out, my mother could see there. It would cover two days at UCT, huh? <laughs> yes, dear, I am. Yeah, it's expensive, guys. So, I <laughs> So when I got the scholarship, my father was excited. He said, my boy, now you saved us money. Very proud of you. So you can take some of this money that we saved, and we're gonna fly you to Cape Town. Exe a flight? 
So first time, I've never flown by that. It's the first time I'm flying. So immediately I told everyone in Anki, hello, moet weet. I'm flying now. Ik verdien de van jullie I'm flying now. I work it into every conversation, eh? They go, they go, don't you have glue for my shoe? No, it's packed away, I'm flying on Saturday. I somehow make stuff up. Don't you want to come eat bright flies here with us? No, I must watch my weight for the flight <laughs> on Saturday. I flew in, ma'am. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a cup. I failed, eh? Proper fail. You know when you fail? Did the university call your mother? Come on, you're chunky. You know what I mean? I felt, you know when you write, you, your university is something else, man. I was never ready. You know, you, you study, you go into the exam room, you look at the paper, you go, Ned, this is a kid. What's wrong? Woo-wee! It's proper. You know, it was a fall from grace. You mustn't let your ego fly too high. Because I was flight, flight in flight. My father came to pick me up in a bucky. Then you have to pass those same ones you told about the flight. And you know how they tease you. Who you reckon no flight? What can no one? Does he flight no grounded? What can no? Horrible. Called me flight for three years. <laughs> but in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle of that year, no? I, I was on the intercape. You guys must know the intercape. Yeah, the middle class bus, eh? <laughs> oh, that bus, eh? Who knows the bus? Go, yeah. <laughs> if you've ever been in that bus, you know that smell. It's the same smell every time. The aircon doesn't work. It's the same smell, eh? It's in the cushions deep. It <laughs> smells like depression, chicken, and all mixed together. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't want to come out, eh? A Kirby Mark for young. You remember the Kirby? The status symbol, eh? The Kirby. But you didn't want to buy the packets, it was too expensive. My mother, every December, done with Ayman, come demonstrate, yo. You've never seen a white man clean your house so nice. Every year, my mother says, come next year again, eh? We're gonna save, we're gonna save. Woman with her sweat, eh? It's terrible. Now, the, no, you see the problem about being middle class, no? Being middle class is... <sighs> Everything's fine at home, man. You got clothes, you're eating, everyone's doing okay. School shoes, alles. But you have just, you have just enough money to see how kakarach your life is. <laughs> and there's always one family member that's made it, eh? You go visit, they've got a pool, you don't have to inflate. <laughs> you get there, you walk in, the children's got Nintendos and Segas, you walk in with your father, you go, no man, daddy, I believe in you, man. <laughs> Can't you get extra shifts, night shift or something, man? You can also do this, I believe you can. The children, oh no, the ch your cousins don't know they have privilege. You know, privilege people don't, they don't know they have privilege. We're playing together, they do strange things. The children, you're playing with them there, they go. The mother walks out. Boys, come in, we're having ice cream. He goes, no thank you mom, we're playing. I say, oh you back. Fravre <laughs> Hamburgo. Who says no for a Gettys Neapolitan? <laughs> Can people please ask the people from Getty why there's a plastic bag in the middle of it? I say, how honor come as your yellow arm sop not you? And you suck him dry. Like. <laughs> now I went in the middle of the year, was that intercape? And when you, when you get on that bus, oh, if they're still coming from Hanky, guys. There's no station in Enki like a bus stop. You have to go to humans or stand in front of the Caltex and hope they see you. <laughs> then you get on, you can smell, oh, here is the pressy here. 
Then you get in. You've got pocket money, so you will still have a bit wind gat. You've got pocket money, and you're going to Cape Town. <laughs> Belleville Station. <laughs> Your granny gave you extra money to buy a D-bus. <laughs> <laughs> Two pairs of knee keys. <laughs> so you still have money, man. You know, you, you don't even want to talk to this guy next to you because you don't want to make new friends going to Cape Town. <laughs> Yo, but that bus, I don't tell you. That bus, on the ticket it says 14 hours. <laughs> That's just a suggestion, man. <laughs> that bus is anything between 52 and... 62 hours. That bus keeps breaking. Ooh, I blame break. Every time it breaks, they send the bus from where you started to come help. You're tired. It's been two days. You're, you're worried. You don't have a cell phone. Your parents are nervous. People, though, you can see people have, there's nothing left. They stop at the station. No one gets out anymore. As here, as here's me a pee in a levens or nuts. There's nothing left. Nothing, ma'am. They get out. Eventually, you go, hey, pocket money is gone. You and this brand now, you went through war together now. You didn't want to speak to him, but now he's going to be the best man at the wedding. <laughs> Tight now. Survival is what's happening. You were somewhere here in Marcel Bay. Day two. <laughs> Weak in your knees. Eventually you go, now nah, I, must, I must do what I didn't want to do. I must eat that pot course my granny made. And you know it's been, that boiled egg has been marinating for two days. Hey, wach for you. He's purple already, he's droog. With a meatball and a triangle of salt. You don't want to open it because it's daytime still. You tell him tonight, tonight. You wait until it's dark, two o'clock. You hope everyone is sleeping. You open that thing, it goes. <laughs> you can hear the lines go. Ooh, uh, uh. There's one white auntie in the back going, surely no one's having boiled eggs this time. Of the morning, say, auntie, what goes in must come out. It was rough. Come from. Man, listen, I, like, generally speaking, I come from my background, I don't make, I don't make my shows about race, because so many different people come, and it's wonderful to be together. But sometimes I have to tell people about my culture, because we do things differently sometimes, you know? Like rugby. <laughs> they play international rugby, IRB. Colored people play something else. My father used to be a part of the coaching team there by uh, our local team, villages. Colored people and rugby are different, eh? He used to play, sometimes you play traditionally white teams, right? And then I was a lighty, so I ran around the, with the balls and no one cared about me. So I could see someone, we play those white teams and there's a, the coach is standing there on Fricky. Uh, whiteboard, he's got the Koki goes, boys, get the ball for number seven, then you're gonna create space, space, then a V formation, then a try. I'm like, yo, we don't scrap. <laughs> Cause it's different there by my father. Oh, colored rugby is different, eh? There's no strategy, no whiteboard. My father stands in front of the horns, he goes, boys, when he touches the ball, then tackle you, not like, cock, that's it. I'm like, that's not rugby. That's assault, daddy, that's assault, dad. <laughs> Especially when we used to play high school rugby, it was worse, eh? The high school rugby. Oh, you know, we used to play against the Spatch. Now, the Spatch is Owens, those Afrikaans boys are big, man. Rot clock, they go, they 14. Hello, um. <laughs> Say, hey, buddy, what size shoe is that? So, 14, um. <laughs> but you can see in their eyes, now nah, it's children, this man. It's canners, man. Not our Owens. Almala Suhrut. Two of them are working night shift at VW. They come straight from work, take out their earrings. Let's not arm to tackle. It's rough, yo. Brass name's Gapi. It's not arm to seer to mark. Different, it's different. 
it's different even even in like even like i tell people about colored clubs people don't understand colored clubs are different it's different there's nothing more fun than a colored club especially in this town ooh it's like a man you know how good a colored club is colored clubs are so much fun they shot someone there last week but we are back <laughs> your mother goes didn't they shoot someone no it was an internal dispute <laughs> playing the love i lost there now <laughs> so bold <laughs> terrible eh it's terrible no it's different man and then you know the thing is is then you you get through you get through it all and i started working that's when i started realizing when i moved to joburg i realized your men are different your men are good oh, they together some of the men are prettier than the women i'm like yo <laughs> so start to look after myself that's when i started now dating and then eventually i now met natalie let me tell you my wife is pretty i know i know don't stop telling me i got a bargain <laughs> i had your block stop Natalie is that kind of pretty you know she's never been jealous in her life you know she doesn't have she doesn't know what it is to be normal like you know what i mean <laughs> she thinks the world is a wonderful beautiful place when people when her car breaks two men come to help every time <laughs> she doesn't know if you not so lekka we look you on sons race star cuz neto was at fair fun more you know what i mean when we see we go ne ah double clutch pop pop Her father will help her. Her father will come, yeah. <laughs> Natalie is a pretty girl, man. You know, pretty girls. Your these women here, ma'am, you're beautiful. Let me tell you something. I am happy. Women must grow, evolve, run the country, do everything. But you must understand, for your husband, no man has ever looked at you and go, "Oh, here my heart is cock sexy." Ah, <laughs> we don't care. Natalie is so pretty. You know, my wife is so pretty. I would have taken her even if she couldn't read. <laughs> if she told me, "Babe, I can't read," I say, "We'll grow together." <laughs> That is what marriage is for. <laughs> Now, married man, and I like being. I'm made for marriage. Eh? Oh, my body is for the streets. My body isn't made for the streets. <laughs> I'm old now, man. Nine o'clock at night now. My knees want to either down. My ankles need to do way now. My joints tell me it's gonna be winter next week. You know what I mean? It's different. It's different. We play this. She every now and then. We don't. You know how it is. You don't go out. You married. When you married, oh, you don't go out. Oh fuck. No. <laughs> oh, is this is what marriage is like? You're like, "Oh, we're going to go out." And then we look. 200 rand a movie ticket. Zalo <laughs> mo. I'm going to go download something now, don't worry. <laughs> Make the popcorn with the aromatic, okay? <laughs> That's marriage. So we have to force ourselves out the door. Every now and then we go out, right? We go out and as a When you go out now, it's different. Natalie likes to be silly sometimes and make like jokes. And she goes, "Listen, we're out now. No, I want to see if you still got it. Go try your luck with her." I'm like, "I what? Try my luck with her? She knows I don't stand a chance with these young girls." I say, "I'll tell you for free what will happen. I didn't have it when I got you. You were asleep that night. That's what happened." I can't find another worker, so <laughs> I can't tell her to go try her luck. Let's say they will take her and my child. I won't see her ever again. <laughs> uh, don't go out like don't play those games. Ah, uh, uh, uh. married man, leave me alone. I don't. I'm. You know how married I've become. I start taking tips from other married men, like the older married men. You, the yeah, the yeah, ma. Old married men know exactly. They don't look left and right. Have you noticed? They stay focused. They, <laughs> nah, they know there's trouble here on the left and right. <laughs> Have you seen the ones at thirty years? Your grand, your father. You know, they in canal walk. They find a focal point. 
They don't look left and right here. Now the Bali's now. Belt is here under the nipple. <laughs> Terrible. Now I know, you know, as a, because as a married man, I think, as a man, it never leaves us, man. We love you, but we still want to look, but we know we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Every old man, young man, we all want to, when a girl goes past, we go, woo. We have to fight it. All we want to do is go, yar. <laughs> Almost squeeze that thing till my knuckles burn. <laughs> but we can't. We know you're looking. Your eyes are hot on us. <laughs> so, when I go, by the way, when I go to church, yo, Natalie is a neck, new apostolic. You know yourselves. Ooh. Beautiful people in that church, eh? You can catch a divorce there. You must focus there. In that church, it's the same girl that was in the club last night singing the hymn. Oh. Sexy and get track. No, you must be careful. I sit in the children's section. I want a wife when I go home. Get it tighty. Well, I come from farm church. It's different, man. When you go to the New Apostolic Church, yeah, you guys, city churches are different from farm church. Eh? City church, you have an hour. You get there, you leave. They do the word as beautiful. <laughs> Not by our church. Christmas morning, it's like a showcase. Our hour is merely a suggestion, it's a warm-up. It's mostly men in those churches. Farm churches, is not old manna, same suit for 17 years. Walk like us. You know those old, you know those Bali. And those old men, they don't read, they, the Bible is just as a guideline. They improvise. They take you and make an example, practically in life. You must be very careful. You can't sit in front, your, son, your files come out, yo. What's your name, sir? Hey? Fabio. Fabio. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we just like to say we want to welcome Fabio back to the church. His mother says he's finally left the bottle. <laughs> That's like that, bro. You must be. When I, when I go to my mother's church, I go early, ma'am. I find out who's going to be the person delivering the message. Get there early to tell them, no, don't worry, sir. My, I'm very well. The children, the child's well, my wife's well. My mother prayed for me at home. <laughs> so he knows I'm okay. Then you must throw him off the scene. But Fabio is getting a divorce. <laughs> so you can hoe him that way. Otherwise he's on you all day. Yeah, that's like that. Now I'm married now. Lovely, happily married. Oh, lekker man. Let me say something to you. There's what you learn things, they don't tell you. There's no manual. <laughs> Married women love an anniversary present. Eh? <laughs> Ooh, they tell you, don't worry, don't worry, it's not a big deal this year. <laughs> Shame, I don't like to put eyes on my father, but he made a mistake three years ago. <laughs> Shame, man. They married for 41, 41 years. Mm. Now three years ago, 38 years, now they live in Anki. It's 75 kilometers to the next mall. There's no mall in Anki. If you, on a Sunday it was his anniversary, he woke up, just messages, and he forgot. My mask club is like my porta quack. He wakes up, happy anniversary. He panicked, man, he ran out of the house. He panicked, shame. He knows what he did. He came back with a hand wash. <laughs> hey, my mother was like, this is what your father thinks of me. 38 years of marriage, this is what I get. She doesn't let us wash our hands eh, with that wash, no. It's on display there. In COVID, we're like, no, 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 no. You must remember. <laughs> it's a panic, man. Shame, man. I asked him, I said, daddy, it's a panic. He said, you're daddy. Oh, so heavenly, no?
रोइबोस इन्फ्यूज्ड ओह यार खर खर मूर रख पर सारे तो वो ना सोए तो वो ना सो नो बट आई हूँ लाइक आई ओनली बीन मैरिड फॉर फाइव इयर्स going into my 6 so i'm still and i've got google man i google and you must know wives wives now they tell you early oh this is a nice bracelet this one pandora uh, uh. now you must just remember and save up you know it's coming hey but it's rough on me hey natalie right her, her birthday is the 20th our anniversary is the 25th then christmas is on me i'm broke december man every last year i said why don't this christmas we make each other gifts that's more meaningful <laughs> With paper mache or something. I already bought your present. Hey, and married women, they all about you must. If you don't buy the right present, you don't know me. You don't understand. It's because you don't pay attention. But when they must buy you a present, a couple of cuff. Married women buy presents like they've never met you before. Eh? They spend a lot of money where you go, you're a rare. Every Christmas we must pretend, eh? When that box comes out, eh, I pretend that it is amazing no matter what. I don't want to spoil the day. We open that box. How did you know? I just looked at the. I just looked at the price for this yesterday. How did you know? I've always wanted a power hose pipe. <laughs> I'm thinking in the back of my head, here it is for baby techies, hello. <laughs> now I must clean up. Why don't you come and use your new, your new gift to clean the ceiling? <laughs> Slechte presents. I can't buy you a toaster over. <laughs> Terrible. Now one year I thought, now nah, I'm in the game now. Two years ago, I saw a Calvin Klein packet. I was like, finally, she sees me for who I am. <laughs> Then I got nervous because I'm a bitchy, you know. I've never seen a Calvin Klein model look like me. I was like, oh, here I go, up as a scarf. You wanna disappoint the man? You know what she bought me? Three white underpants. Why? Why, why, why? No man in here wants a white underpants, eh? It's on sale for a reason. Our bodies excrete an oil. Now the underpants is yellow. We don't know why. Now I must explain to you now. My life is crazy for one of you, Alfio. One way, then I throw it away with a fruit and nut packet. <laughs> Aunt. I can't, man. I can't buy her underwear. Because marriage underwear, you know, Mazhar. It's too personal. It's wrong. You know, you know those three pack with a flower here. You know what that flower is for? That flower is like a wreath for the death of your sex life. That thing. It's over for you. They strong, eh? Those things they thick. They strong. On wash day when it's hanging and it's windy, it look like a Titanic is about to. <laughs> Now imagine I must give her three of those things. Face painties. Mm -mm. Terrible. No, it's different now. You mar when you married, it's different. You know. I must say that I'm now here to talk about family. No family. I just want to say we are at we all come through a difficult time. We lost people in our families. We must change, man. As South Africans, we must stop fighting so much with each other in the family, competing, jealous of each other. It's not nice, especially in-laws, you know, school sisters, man. You know, <laughs> they're here together. There's no stool, no. We've got close, we're like family friends. Like you know, we grew up together. I grew up with like 
played with the kids, or like I'm very close to this one family, and I saw there that there's a problem, because I grew up there, and like, the problem is now, these two aunties now, they, they in-laws, they squin sisters, but they compete, man. Ooh, if the one bring a trifle, the other one bring a bigger trifle. Yeah, he moved all the way here till I watch you. It's terrible, that thing, terrible. And now that they've, they had kids, man, and the children like a year apart, now it's extra with a comp, it was extra with a competition, eh? Oh no, she's the best netball player. Oh no, he's the best rugby player. And they're like, woo, they're like, they both grown up children now. They grew up, they, the one is a nurse and the other one is a paramedic. No more you can the Oh no, she's the top one, eh? They say she's like a mature one now. She's a mature. She's like two more, two more years and she can be a doctor. Say, and you lich. Now she's got a stethoscope. Say, auntie, that child failed my trick. What are you talking about? Then the other one go, no, no, my one, the best paramedic, eh? They say they training him to do basic surgery. He say, auntie, got man to do it, Mark. <laughs> He's gonna kill people, that one. Shame it came to a horrible ending now recently. Because her grandfather, or their grandfather passed away. Good man, man, good man. Good many years behind him. Good man. They expected at 86, you know? You know what I'm... <laughs> Good man, man. We knew he was gonna go, man. Yeah, but must very rochel. You guys know the rochel. The children don't understand. There's always you must let a big auntie do that. Do they go? Yeah, 45 minutes. Call your ma. Call your mother. He's gonna be gone if she don't leave now the house. You can't let someone, a child, tell you no. He's a rochel. You'll come there and have tea with him. He'll still be alive. So now the old man passed on. Everyone is almost the free day. Everyone's happy. They're standing there around the bed. They're there. The whole family is there. It's beautiful. Old man is peaceful. I hear you in the background. Now you must come now. Bring your stethoscope. <laughs> then I knew it's trouble. This. He come right now. This girl comes in, right, to a grandfather. With a stethoscope. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I'm like, here is done blow on Sviet is vehicle. It's can see they track no coat all seeing you. We can must not see you, man. Terrible. I didn't even hear that auntie call her son. I just heard an ambulance. Boo, boo, ba, 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 ba. That bra now has to do better. It's all about warning up. He's not there to check if the bali is alive. He's there for a resurrection. <laughs> he comes out with that shock stock. I plug him in. The lights go, woo, here. But I'm telling you, rips the pajamas. Everyone's, that bra shocky opa man. He say, you're ready to go shock, let it go. Three, two, one, two, be shock. They rake net a brand of braille cream, man. It's like a sell on on a Friday. Shame, you want to have a stock stave, you. It's not right, it's not right. I'll get hell, Craig, I'll get hell too. <laughs> Listen, I just want to say. <laughs> Before, before I go, I just want to say thank you so much for coming. Give yourselves a round of applause for being the biggest show I've ever sold. Kijk voor jullie, spokkerig aangetrek. I just want to say, like, like now, um, it's different now, you know, I'm different, I'm... I'm married now, it's liquor. I just want to tell you what's happening. I, even I spoke about the clubs earlier, like when I used to go to clubs, I, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Lately does get jealous, but only like in one scenario. Oh, auntie's one, like 52, <laughs> 53 divorce. 
I just made size, I own. Hey! I my size that, ooh, those aunties, they look for different things, man. She looks at, those some uh, divorced aunties. Ooh, they look at me differently, eh? Mm. For me, oh no, they look me, oh no, they've seen these thin manages. Now they're looking for cholesterol manna, you know what I mean? <laughs> different things turn them on, man. They look at you, they go, ooh, he just bought porridge for the children. <laughs> He probably pays for the water and lights too. Salaiman so fats. <laughs> Natalie is very nervous when we in checkers and she smells a red door. You must, hey, come here, I can smell one. <laughs> come stand here by me, I can smell. There's panache also here. <laughs> I always used to like her older aunties. Even when I was younger, 25, I used to go to clubs, man, you know? Those grab a granny clubs. Swingers, <laughs> players, MP, Barbados. <laughs> Used to dance there with the aunties. Oh, they nice, eh? Oh, chiffon, top to toe. Donna Claire, my ladies. <laughs> you see a Roy Tuanalki and a sandal there, young. Hey. Must just jazz there in the jazz competition. You feel your neck is a stepping day. Fanandran, get your fan neat. Aunties look after you nice, man. Aunties look after you nice. Net seeker maake kinders kom bari school like America facts. Yes, man. So Natalie doesn't take her aunties, no? she's very careful. Aunties know a good man, you know what I mean? Life experience. I just want to say now, I'm, I'm in a, I, have a, I had a TV show, I had a TV show called Klop die Kunstenaar. Yeah, remember, did you watch it? Yes. But you're boring. <laughs> but when they said, oh, no, Alfred, we're gonna pay you. I said, when, what time? I'm quite available. <laughs> this looks like an entertaining. <laughs> Lockdown was rough. Shame, man, you understand Very nice guy, he spoke in my ear. He gave me guidance, but I started speaking like him. Like, five to crying is for you. <laughs> Lovely guy. I actually went for an audition for Kukadura. You know Kukadura? It's like the great British bake-off. I thought this is the perfect show for me. There's more snacks, man. <laughs> then they said to me in the audition, I use the word cook on front word. I said, what do you mean is in a cook show? I must say cook. She said, but you said cook 54 times. And you say it wrong. I was like, ooh, you are Nita. Get a like a fochtige cookie. Oh, Susan, your cook was a bit droog. Ach, nee. Kobus, her cookie het gegis. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alfred Adrian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Westridge High. Thank you to Mitchell's Plain. And thank you to my beautiful wife. Come up. Give Natalie a round of applause! So, thank you, God bless, go well, goodbye! Awesome, bro, awesome! I actually only came for Natalie. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but this is my wife, but uh, I enjoyed the show. It was funny and well, it was worthwhile. They would, they would be a show. Yeah. yeah. Alfred, your show was very, very great. And keep up the good work. Cool. And we want more shows in Mitchell's Play. You guys need to come back to Cape Town. Seriously need to come back to Cape Town after the lockdown. This is the first date me and my wife had out and we finally really enjoyed it. So my jaws are actually sore from laughing so much. Um, yeah, very big turnout. How did you enjoy Mitchell's play? It was good. It's the first time I'm coming here. 
It was amazing. Nice crowd, very friendly. Lovely, lovely show. Well worth it. You'll be in stitches, building oh, your no. signs and wanting more when the show ends. Keep on doing what you do because you make our world a better place, really. You make us laugh and you make whatever tough times we're going through a little bit easier. You and Natalie, thank you so much. Superstar on the making. I must be honest, I'm not a Facebook fan. I've never and I watched him on Facebook. But after today, after tonight, I'm a fan. Very nice, although he's joking about me all the time, so that's life. <laughs> you enjoy Mitchell's plane? Yeah, I love it. It's like Hanky. It's just bigger. <laughs> no, Mitchell's plane is nice and it was very well.